<clears throat> Today's look is going to be called cinnamon. I'm going to start with LA Colors Mineral Blush in Harmony, number CMB860. This is brand new. I ordered it online. It's a neutral pink red. The brush that comes with this series of colors, the LA Colors Minerals, is very soft. I like it. This is a fairly dramatic, theatrical look. So I'm applying more than I usually would. If this was a regular look, I'd have stopped a while ago. And now the other side. You can see I have a pretty sizable blemish right here. Blush can come in handy if you get acne around your cheeks. Don't apply blush directly to the area. And of course you want to try and minimize it as much as you can using concealer. But if you can add enough <laughs> red color near the area and carry it back. It'll help to blend the redness in. That's what got me started using blush in the first place. I never used to use blush before. But the fact is, I've got these red cheeks due to broken capillaries caused by popping zits in the past. Acne has been a long time struggle for me. Lifetime struggle, really. I still, as you can tell, obviously get it. Um, the one thing I found that really controls it is hormonal birth control. I take oral hormones. Even when I'm not sexually active in order to regulate the hormones that contribute so much to acne. And for some people, it's entirely hormonal. It doesn't matter how clean your skin is or what products you use. I find salicylic acid is really helpful. but it only minimizes acne. It doesn't prevent it. You can see my cheekbones slope off in two different directions as well. These shortcuts really aren't working with me. I prefer to hide my jaw. And um, I intend to be growing this out into a bob, but until then, that's what wigs are for. So, now my cheeks are hot pink. Moving on, we're going to do the eyes next. As a base, I'm using Hot Pink Pencil by NYX. Yes, okay. Had to think about it for a moment. So I'm just going to apply a nice thick line to my upper lid. And I find monochrome looks for eye makeup really to be best, especially if you're going to do a full face look, which is what I typically do. I coordinate 
lipstick, eyeshadow, and whatever you call it. Blush, that's what it is. So yes, I have applied a really heavy amount of this stuff in the NYX pencils. What happened to the lid? Here it is. The NYX pencils are popular to use as bases, but only as bases. Um, I don't really find them good on their own because they do um, they do track elsewhere. So next thing you're gonna do to keep it from being too greasy, blend it a little with your finger. Makeup gurus will do multicolored looks with lots of different bright shadows. Um, since my look is full face, um, I prefer to simply keep uh, simply for to um, keep it to a central theme. This shadow was depotted from an LA Colors um, five shadow set called Wildflowers. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this shadow over the base. The color is most vibrant where it is layered over the NYX pencil, and it naturally becomes lighter as you sweep the powder upward towards the brow. What you have created at this point is a subtle smoky look using only two products. At this point it's optional if you want to place a highlighter color on your brow bone. I'm going to do the second eye now. Same thing. Basically, I'm just applying this color to my eyeball. Of course, I'm not putting it directly on my eyeball. But wherever my eyeball lives, I'm feeling for it. That's the advantage of using a finger. Not only do you not have to buy any fingers, provided you have all ten, but you can feel where all the parts of your body are. You have better control this way. Of course, there is a disadvantage. You get color all over your fingers. However, I'm not going anywhere. And besides, that's what sinks are for and soap and washing hands and stuff. So, I'm just going to apply a little liner and mascara. I'll probably be out of time. So I'll have to continue the rest of the look in a second video. And in the meantime, I don't mind demonstrating my eyeliner technique. I use a pencil and my favorite is Shiseido. This is from their the makeup collection. This is the eyeliner in black. Let's see. I'm going to start directly below the pupil and gently using a back and forth motion because it's very cold and I'm wearing powder on my face. It takes a while for the pencil to warm up. 